Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while I haven't talked to the camera, probably a few months, maybe even more than that. But today I really wanted to talk to you guys because uh, this weekend I tried a new build and um, I have to say it's pretty cool. I call it the unwanted child from Armaton and Impulse RC. Uh, why unwanted? It's because we're mixing two uh, parts from each brand and um, they were not meant to be together, like not really, not wasn't intended in the first place but they go together really really well but these parts are the Volv PDB and as you can see the chameleon frame the reason I went with the chameleon TI frame is because I tried to fit the PDB on my rooster and unfortunately it doesn't fit it's so close it could fit but it doesn't so I try to uh, fit it between the arms. When you mount a rooster, you got the bottom plate and then the rear arms and the front arms, they sort of stick out a little bit, like four millimeters, because there's a bump. And I try to fit the PDB in between. And really, it's so, so close. It could fit, like, I don't know. It's really frustrating me because I, I um, actually prefer the rooster. I like the fact that I can replace an arm on the field in two minutes. Whereas with the chameleon, if you break an arm, well, it's a whole bottom plate that you got to replace. I really like the fact of using the rooster with this new PDB, but it doesn't work. So I'll try to figure out something with this. We can make custom parts with Armaton production. So I think I might do something like that if I really enjoy this PDB in the long term, but yeah, let's talk about the PDB a little bit more. So on the Chameleon TI, the Wolf PDB from Impulse RC fits really, really well. It doesn't stick out of the frame at all. It's flush in between the arms. You can basically sit it down on the bottom plate and it's just, oh man, it's so perfect. So you put it there and then you solder your, e your ESCs, the wires, literally they're like 20 millimeters long. So it makes a very, very clean build. Then you put your little standoffs. I use KISS. You can actually use something else than KISS with this PDB. Apparently you can use Bit of Flight, Bird of Flight. I personally haven't tried that. I've been flying KISS for the last five to six months and it's been really, really good for me. So I put my uh, KISS flight controller on top of it and I actually rotated the KISS flight controller 90 degrees clockwise. So the connectors are not sticking out of the left side of the, of the frame. And also, yeah, the reason I did that is because when you use the KISS controller with the little connectors on the side, uh, it's right on top of the battery lead solder joints. I, I didn't like the fact it was so close. So, and oh yeah, one more thing. I had to raise my little standoffs, the rubber standoffs they give with the PDB. I had to raise them by 1.5, two millimeters for the soft mounting solution of the flight controller to be effective. I didn't want the flight controllers to rub on the wires that go underneath it. So yeah, I raised that and uh, yeah, it's really, really clean, man. So basically the features of this PDB are pretty simple, but in so powerful in the same time. With this PDB, you get an OSD, of course. And the other features are very clean power supply for um, your VTX and camera. And you get a microphone built in with a clean signal as well. There's plenty of features, I'll put them in the description of the video. But anyways, if you have, if, if you're interested about this, uh, just go check out Impulse RC website and there is everything. They, they have a GitHub as well. So you can check this out as well. Basically, what you wire your camera straight to the PDB. You, can, you wire your VTX straight to the PDB. You can choose between five volt and battery voltage for the VTX. So that's super cool. You can see there is a micro USB port on the side of the PDB. I actually haven't used it because you actually don't need to use it. The PDB just configures itself on the first uh, connection. So when you plug a KISS flight controller, it knows it's a KISS flight controller. If you plug something else, it will know it's something else. So that's really awesome. Same with the OSD features. You don't need a GUI for that. No need for a computer. You can do everything in the OSD menu using your Tyrannus or controller, or whatever you have. And you can move the stuff around. You can enable them, disable them, no problem. That's super, super easy. So you get camera control. So you add this little wire and you can change the settings of your camera using your Tyrannus or controller or Tim Ferriss F controller, whatever. So that's really, really cool as well because I was missing that because I come from Betaflight and I used to have this back in the days and I really enjoyed it. That was awesome not to have to carry this little remote that you always lose. They don't even provide it anymore with the cameras. So yeah, that's a very, very cool feature. 
so yeah that's pretty much it in terms of wiring like it's really well spread out so like the wires don't inter interfere with each other the only thing you got to wire to the flight controller the only thing is the receiver so that's three to four wires depending on what you want to do and that's it like literally your flight controller is connected with this um, harness they they give you the harness you connect it to the pdb and that's it so easy it's really really good so i'll give you some um, footage that i got from uh, this weekend and i flew this uh, this new quad basically it's the same setup i'm using every time i go flying and um, except the PDB. I've always used cheap PDBs and I thought it was fine. That was the only cheap part in my builds and uh, I thought it was okay, but now that I've used this one, it's so much better. Like I can feel there's a little bit more power. I, I don't know if it's placebo or, or, or what, but I felt a little bit more. And I mean, this OSD is awesome. The features are awesome. And I love the, the look of it, like the, the clean build looking quad it's just it's just awesome i love it i think i'm gonna switch all my quads to this if you haven't tried it yet because it's pretty new i advise you to yeah just give it a go uh get one see if it fits in your frame it's gonna fit one of your frame there's no screw holes it's just the standard 30 by 30 mounting holes it's just super easy and it will fit most frames so i advise you to try it give it a go especially if you fly kiss it's a very very cool uh pdb i really like really like it i wouldn't do a video like this for anything else really this one really impressed me and everybody around me like my girlfriend snake they all think they're gonna try it now because they've seen the build and they're like yeah that's actually pretty cool so check this out peace